Good afternoon, everybody. My name is José Manuel Lillian, and I would like to thank you very much for liking us in Facebook and following this uh, live. I'm uh, Jalte Sales Responsible, and today in this live, I would like to introduce you all our new releases in 2024 Yaltes. As you may know from our social networks, your nearest distributors, uh, this 2020 Jaltes is full of new things, both in software and hardware. I would like to start by showing you our new device, Jaltes Link V9. This is the interface and allows the communication from our device, a tablet or a laptop, with the vehicle. This is how it looks now. This is our new release, the V9. In the past, it was like this. This is a Jaltes V8, which is a little bit heavy, it's made of metal, and this one, the V9, is made of plastic and a little bit lighter. The main characteristics of the V9 are it's much more lighter, as I told you, electronics has been completely renewed, uh, also uh, it's made of plastic, and protection has the IP40 level. It's, uh, the electronics are faster, communicates faster with the vehicle and also allows to control more communication protocols like in the past. Um, don't worry, because if you have the older one, uh, the new versions, the new software versions are still working on this one, so no problem at all. Um, this version of uh, interface, the Jaltes V9, comes with new connectors, starting by the USB. This USB has a new plastic shape. This plastic shape fits perfectly in the housing. So, as you can see, we have no movement at all and keeps better the communication with the device. Also, it's possible to connect with Bluetooth, like in the previous ones. The difference is there is no antenna, so no more smash antennas anymore. Regarding the connectors, here I've got the OBD connector for this Yaltes V9. Same, it has a plastic shape and fits perfect in the plastic housing of this Yaltes V9. Even if I don't tie these small bolts, it holds very, very well. This new interface comes with a new hard case. All together with a new version of software release uh, during this month, which is Jaltes 20.1. And is the version that I would like to show you right now. Let's see if you like it. Now I would like to show you all of these, uh, all of the new features of this uh, version Jaltes 20.1. Um, to install Jaltes, normally we have a folder like this. In this case, we find five uh, different files. In the previous versions, were only three, but don't worry because the installation time has been reduced almost half of the time. So it's very, very fast, actually. Just clicking on install and clicking next, 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 we can easily uh, install our Yaltes without any problem. After install Yaltes, this is what we found. The new software version Yaltes 20.1 once again offers more improvements and innovations that consolidate this tool as a benchmark in multi-brand diagnosis for commercial, agricultural, and of highway vehicles. This version shows the new graphic interface of Yaltes. You can see all of the new improvements and modern design lines, more legible content and more direct accessibility. This improvement is in the visualization of the content, means a great advantage for Yaltes users who can now find and manage the information in an easier and more intuitive way. Apart from these graphic changes, both the run times and the installation times, as I told you, have been improved. So it's very, very fast comparing with the previous versions. Uh, now I would like to show you some examples of these improvements, starting by the graphic customization. 
here in configuration and then graphic customization we can find the screen resolution test size and other elements of the application option to adjust the application size to the resolution of the select screen in the pc depending on the screen we can find a viable ones or another's in this case for my screen is not a viable 120 percent one other interesting thing is the connection selection. For this case, to show you, I'm going to go to trailer, Wapco. Yeah, that's a good example. And here in the connection selection, the connections associated to a system are listed at the left. Distractions remains always visible, navigating through the images easier comparing the previous ones, the previous versions. If I connect to the system, we can see how the functions, how all the actions available for this specific system are listed in another way comparing with the previous versions. Let's see that. As you can see, this is the new way to list all of these functions. This is because some of our customers are using a tablet device instead of a laptop and for a tablet device is more comfortable this layout the classification of the main types of actions when connecting to a system uh, allows quickly to see the coverage system and also we've got here a filter to look for specific actions which is faster As you can see, the end of line test is in system checks. Here it is. Another improvement is our new direct access to ADA system. ADA system can be found can be found in a track, for instance, in a Volvo FH before. And here in special functions, shortcuts, filter by safety, we've got ADAS test and report. This test has several parts. Uh, first, we have an error reading, and then we can calibrate, reset, do an on row test, etc., according with the system. Once these operations have been performed, the failure in the memory is going to be delayed. And after that, we can find a report which shows all the results. Another interesting innovation comes from our countdown timer. An example will be, for instance, find in a Mercedes, Nactros in the engine. This countdown timer appears after performing one specific function. Let's see if we can find it. Let's choose, for instance, a cylinder compression. Yeah. And at the end, we find this countdown timer. So it helps the mechanic to see how much time should turn off the ignition. Mm -hmm. Other innovations are the image in repair times, the search filter for measurements, and the um, component filter in a system technical data for wiring diagrams. Hope you enjoyed and see you in the next videos. Thank you very much for watching.